Greetings, YouTube followers. This is John Demokis, a.k.a. Half Man, Half Cichlid. Uh, this is my 500-gallon acrylic bowfront aquarium. And as you can see, I have some very uh, heavy lifters in here, big fish that produce a lot of waste. I've got various species of vieja, some of which that are approaching 12 inches. I've got uh, red-tailed giant, giant grammies from Borneo that are approaching 12 to 14 inches. So they produce uh, uh, a lot of metabolic waste, not just uh, nitrates, but uh, other waste that are very important to removing uh, from your uh, water to give uh, the aquarium and its inhabitants uh, pristine uh, conditions. So, let's see what else is going on here. Uh, I've had previous videos about the aquaponic uh, grow bed, but as the fish grow, of course, we need to expand the capacity to uh, consume those uh, metabolic waste. Just as a side note here, this is a pair of uh, electric blue Acaras, mom and pop, that have bred, and you can see the, uh, if it get, comes back into focus here, the free swimming fry. There's probably a hundred of them. They were probably uh, start out three or four hundred. Many had been picked off, especially by the, uh, the uh, catfish that I have in the aquarium. So heavily populated, uh, fortunately a very peaceful aquarium in spite of, of uh, breeding activity. I do have some uh, uh, what I call sump baby African cichlids in here, which I cover in another video that are growing out nicely and very tame under the circumstances with the larger fish. This is my 65 gallon grow bed, which has a flow rate of about 500 gallons per hour from the aquarium to consume the metabolic uh, uh, waste products. Originally, this was conceived as just uh, a flat 65 gallon bed with plants that grew one foot to maybe 18 inches high. But as the fish population has grown, I've had to of course, increase the capacity of this bed to consume the metabolic waste. So uh, I've converted into uh, pretty much a, a three-dimensional bed with different types of uh, plants. And uh, you can see some of them have grown very large, such as the Philodendron monstera. I've had to augment the window light with uh, some installed LED ceiling lights to uh, keep the uh, plants uh, uh, growing and continuing to uh, purify the water and consume uh, the met metabolic waste that uh, uh, we're talking about. But, you know, again, it's important to note that as your fish population grows, and in particular in my aquarium, the fish sizes increase, their waste products, which go way beyond just uh, ammonia, nitrites, and nitrates, those waste products begin to, uh, to uh, hit higher levels and to accumulate and to have neg negative, fix, uh, negative effects on the water conditions and uh, your aquarium fish. And hence the need to, to always look at ways to expand the bed and expand its capability to consume uh, those metabolic wastes and keep the nitrates down. You may have noticed that I have uh, what I'll call a shroud around the light over the aquarium. This is to improve the viewing area of the aquarium so you're not blinded by the lights when you look into the aquarium. And as you'll see in a, 
a moment that presented the perfect opportunity to expand the plants in the aquaponic grow bed. So lifting up uh, the uh, shroud, you can now see uh, there's a lot of uh, not only ambient light, but light from the reflected light from the aquarium lights that does a really good job of uh, providing more than enough light for my pothos to expand and to do uh, very, very well. Previously, I had to cut the pothos down because it was uh, overwhelming my aquaponic row bed. So by putting in this expansion area on this trellis, again using the uh, reflected light from my aquarium, uh, we're going to uh, significantly increase the uh, capacity to cleanse the water, to reduce the metabolic waste, the nitrates, the, the ammonia, and uh, so forth. So I hope you learned something from uh, this video. It's a 300, what I consider to be, a, with the sump, 110-gallon sump, a 360-degree balanced aquarium that uh, optimizes uh, all aspects of uh, fish and aquarium health. Thank you. Look forward to your comments and uh, questions.